Okay. Um, Anthony, um, I guess Auburn had like a four point play about 20 seconds in, and then you guys were really playing from behind the rest of the way. How, how tough is that when you're in a tough road environment and, and they're leading virtually the whole game and kind of extend the lead a lot? I mean, you play on the road and you give up a four point play. I mean, it's hard to recover from that. Uh, they started the game with a lot of momentum, and now they just took it and ran with it. So it's hard to win on the road, and uh, we just we can't. We got to start off games better, to be honest. And, and then you guys shot. I think about thirty four percent had fourteen turnovers, which isn't horrible. But they only had eight, and I think they they outscored you twenty five to six on turnovers. That's usually a stat you guys do real well. And just what, what do you think were the issues on offense tonight? Uh. I mean, just stagnant. Uh, they played a zone, and uh, we first half we really had a bad first half, to be honest. Uh, and I think uh, once we got in that hole, it was just they could just zone us and just kind of not play aggressive. So, I mean, it's not really you're up fifteen, twenty, however many it was. Like, you can just sit back and you don't got to be aggressive for real. So, we just dug ourselves a hole. Okay, I might have a couple more. I'll turn it back to Mike. Thanks. Scotty. Yeah, A B, just it seemed like tonight you were kind of recognized that that you needed to be aggressive to get the offense going. Do you feel like that's gonna be maybe the way that you just uh, approach things moving forward, maybe especially on the road? Uh I mean, I I tell y'all pretty much every time I do media, my job is just to win and kind of see what my team needs game by game. I could tell early on that uh, we're going to need me on offense a little more than I've been. So just aggressive. And, uh, you know, I probably have to keep playing aggressive going forward. I'm, I'm curious what you're seeing from opposing teams in terms of the way that they're defending Ricky. I think tonight he was 5 of 15. I think efficiency has kind of been kind of tough for him the first three games. Just what are you seeing from, from opposing teams just the way they're getting after him? I mean – and I just – Armin's a good defensive team. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, not even just Ricky as a group. We all got to work on taking better shots, uh, feeling out the game. But, uh, you know, we trust Ricky on offense. Uh, you know, we, we really trust him. So, you say his percentage, whatever, but we're still going to need him down the stretch. So, uh, we're just going to watch film and try to get better. Curtis? And A.B., I know that, you know, getting to the rim and, and finishing and then getting to the free throw line is a big part of what you guys do offensively. Seems like the volume was good tonight. You shot 32 free throws and, and 22 layups. How frustrating was it to have that kind of volume but not be able to convert? And then, you know, what do you think led to some of the struggles there? Uh, we, it's crazy. We missed 13 free throws and we lost by 13. Uh, we missed a couple of easy ones, offensive rebound, putbacks. Uh, couldn't hit a shot, myself included. Uh, just got to be better and uh, you know, be smarter and capitalize on on whenever defense gives us free ones. Touch. Yeah, Anthony, y'all had uh, y'all did well on the offensive glass. Seventeen offensive boards, but were only able to convert it to eight points. How frustrating was that part of the game as well? Uh, I mean. Those extra possessions aren't guaranteed. So, first of all, we got to say good job to the big for getting those extra uh, chances. But, I mean, we got to finish them. Uh, just – I think we really beat ourselves tonight. Uh, I mean, Auburn's a solid team, but I think we really beat ourselves, to be honest. Bob, follow up. Yeah, Anthony, it doesn't get any easier. You got all, or Alabama coming in. They just hammered Kentucky, third straight game against a ranked team. Kind of, how, how do you feel like you guys have bounced back from this getting back home? Uh, I mean, we just got to watch the film and get better and uh, come into our next game. We got to forget about this after we watch the film and break it down. And then we just got to come in ready to play. Uh, it's going to be a big game. So we got uh, we got to start the game better than we did. Then we have the whole season, really. And 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 then and you guys, you know, you, you're a freshman, so you've only experienced two SEC role games with LSU and and Auburn, two pretty tough places. Just what do you feel like as a young guy? You've learned about life on the road in the SEC, and and how, what can you take you and the other young guys take moving forward for other road games? Uh, 
I mean, when you put yourself in a hole on the road, it's pretty hard to come back and win. Uh, you no, know, with the players we have and uh, just just who we are, what type of players we have. I mean, every game is gonna be sold out, and uh, you know they're all gonna play their best game against us, and crowds gonna be have a lot of energy. So we just got to come in and, and start our road game. It's better off. That's the start is really what's killing us, to be honest. 